Hey, 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 everybody, what is up? We're getting the str well, we're getting the video started. Perfect, actually. Real quick. Let's turn that down just a tad bit. There we go. All right, so where we left off last time, Lee had just been bit. So we're going to continue to episode five. This isn't going to be a live stream. This is just going to be a normal old ep video. So, this is the final video of The Walking Dead, Season 1. Might do Season 3, Previously I don't know if I have Season 2. On the Walking Dead. If we do, if you guys do enjoy this stuff, then make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe. Helps me and the channel out tremendously. We are approaching 500 subscribers, and I need your guys' help. Real fast, I just want to mention, I need your guys' help with the watch hours. If you guys could watch more of my, my videos, it would be tremendous. Thank you very much. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Oh, Here, Carly. you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta ben, go! no! Chuck! Oh, we lost so many yeah. people. Why? Clementine? Clementine! We got fed. Oh. Oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. So this is where we're at now. It's the mystery man is talking to Lee on the walkie-talkie, and we don't know where he is. And Clementine's missing because I don't know if... I don't know if he took Clementine or she went to go find him. But Clementine's missing. Vern's missing. <clears throat> His people are missing. All the food and everything's gone that they had with them, so. Oh, one missing zombie. Two get zombies. out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot, and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. I love these people. Oh no. Close the door. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Uh, the, 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 another way out of here. Another way out of here. Uh, the, 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 the. Hey, I think I found a way out. Doors. I'm not 
gonna shoot my way through. <laughs> I don't know if I can use the gun. This way? Maybe? That's an elevator. I don't think I can pry open the doors with this. Shit! This is a morgue! There's gotta be something in here we can use! Uh, nothing useful in here. Anything. Something. Surgical supplies. Just some surgical supplies. Bone saw. Clamp. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Just a red splitter. this <clears throat> I'll have these doors open in two seconds Somebody help, please. Kenny, Nash, no, Kenny, you're holding the door. Ah, this bite. Lee, you might have to lose your arm. You, It might help, honestly. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck. Come on, Kenny. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! I'm awake. He's still bitten! So? Oh, he's gonna lose this his arm. This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Hmm. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. Ah. Uh. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Oh, well. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Cut it off. This is going to hurt. Fuck it. Cut it off. Oh, Seriously. This is going to hurt yeah. bad, bad. Kenny, please. Please let Kenny be the one to do it. It'll be over before you know it. Just gotta get through. Oh, no anesthesia. It was easier when I thought he was out. Or anything. Oh, Jesus. Fine. <laughs> I'll go oh, as fast as God. I can. Oh. I don't live through this. I need you to know you. Oh. Try to stay still. Ah. The fuck? Ah. Gotta tighten the tourniquet. Ah. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh. 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 No. 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 He passed the hell out. Fuck. Oh, he's missing his arm. Uh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, his hand's sitting Holy there. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. I just had my arm cut off. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, the 
This hurts more than you can believe. Oh. Do you think you'll be able to travel? Ooh. You lost some blood. No choice. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna climb. I should have just kept the arm. I really should have. That probably would have been smarter. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. I really probably should have kept his arm. <gasps> the hell? Damn. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. I imagine. If all the zombies would just fall down there, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Make some noise, get them to all fall down. <clears throat> it won't hurt a damn thing. That's a lot of them. Good God, there's so many of them. Help. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. I we lost a lot him. of blood down there. I'll be fine. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Screw that, I'm fine. Okay, I'll probably just go slow. It was my least favorite. It wasn't my favorite hand anyway. <laughs> well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? Why did we have to get We bit? get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Hell yeah. Now, let's get our bearings. It would have been better if Lee kept the arm now because he would have been able to do a lot more. Hospital must have run out of doctors. It's an extension ladder. Maybe I'll come back through eventually and I'll get a, I'll leave Lee's hand on, well, arm on and see what happens. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. 
Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. There's got to be something else. Bell Tower. Not going back in there. What's that up there? What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Yeah. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. I think you're Clem's favorite. You know that? Really? Yeah, <laughs> she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. Well, you being the convicted killer he is, he'll kick this dude's ass. One arm and he's still moving shit. Just Whoa, fine. you need some help with that? I got it. Damn, dude. He's gonna start watching. Damn class. it. Uh, 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 oh, shit. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? I My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? Fair point. So we're agreed then. Oh, shit. Lee, don't mess this up, please. You've been through enough, dude. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Why don't you hold it down? <coughs> No, Lee, 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 Lee. Oh, shit. We go. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. I really, no shit. Really Try to find another way out of there? Locked. Shit. I'm the exit in here's locked. coming this way tons of them jesus now get back here oh shit well, i'm gonna have to run and jump aren't i i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far you 
got this. You got this, motherfucker. You got this, motherfucker. <sighs> You're gonna need a running start. Hell yeah, Lee. Hell yeah. Good goddamn leap, pal. Hell yeah. Let's get the hell off this roof. <laughs> Could agree with that. We <laughs> had no problem popping these fuckers in the head. <sighs> Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here till we find Clem. This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. I find <laughs> them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Yeah, they did. They actually did. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. Did you close the back doors? What do you think, Lee? What do we now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, Yourself. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all Find right? A small Find town. a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? Yeah, exactly. This is right. bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh... Uh... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! That's a lot of them. Damn. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We secured this place. Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That I was thinking. Omid. <laughs> what is it? Oh, shit. Front doors! <laughs> no, Lee. You, I refuse to let you die yet. Hey, you could have a zombie hand Lee, if you wanted help. to. Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Knife, there has Hurry. to be. Hurry! Uh, drawer, drawer, drawer. 
drawer. Bunch of knife. Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Sturdy it's Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! One woman. Oh. Three. Hell yeah, Omid. Guys, help me with this! Omid upstairs now! Why don't you push this it down the slow floor? Down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fuck stand. Hell yeah, we can't let Kenny. ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Infinite base. Three. Three. Five. Eight. Four. Y'all know where to aim. It's like twelve. Twelve bullets total, that's it? There's like fifty zombies out there. Man, deal with everything. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're fine for now. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here and moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, <coughs> and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. Fun with you. So... No ideas, then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Hey, don't stop. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, <laughs> I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. 
My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! Can he ruin like... that dude's face? Whoa! Shut up, sweetie. Look! Kenny looks like he shit his pants. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No, this mansion butts up. This wall ain't shit. This wall ain't really shit. <laughs> there you go, Kenny, do it. Do it for me, please. Yeah. We can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Oh, this... You might want, like, a window or something. This fumes and dust, everything from the boards is not good to breathe in. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. They probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? Panicked, but now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when you get this guy, what do you think? Make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? Something the entire need. time we, we were at the hospital, like I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Aww. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him in his family. What he'd do to protect them. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Let Lee hop in. Lee's got some build-up anger. He'll kick the shit out of it. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels reasonably chopped. I can handle it. The pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. Take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. We had a heart attack, so there's this guy who I should say was built like a brick shit house. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. <coughs> what did you do? We were resourceful. <coughs> Larry didn't make it out. No, not necessarily. No, he did not. We did, though. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Sure. I mean, Lee's probably gonna die because he has a bitten arm. Well, had a bitten. Well, had a bite, so. I'm through. Damn, dude. Got some real juice. No walkers. Here. Things are looking up. Being able to break through all that. Damn. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Aww. people we've seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more you did everything you could no Lee I could have been a better husband better father could have been a better friend so let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. I hope Kenny takes care of we should move. Clementine. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. That would let's be clear odd. the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. That would be awesome to see Kenny take care of Clementine only because Kenny has taken care of his family and was so dedicated to helping his family. <coughs> I really think he, he it's going to be amazing if he can take care of him. Or if he can take Nothing care of Nothing other her. than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Please don't break. <clears throat> How the hell do you function with a nub? Can't, we can't really help you up. Sorry. Please, Kenny, make it. Please don't break when Kenny steps on it. Oh. Thank God. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? I'd hope not. If they could climb, I'd be scared. I like Omir. I like the Omir guy. He's awesome. He's a nice, funny spirit to have near with you. He keeps things nice. It's good to be moving. Krista's not that bad. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Kat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah. Right. A shithead. Careful, cross here. 
please don't break when anyone's crossing. I'd really prefer to keep all of my crew members together and alive. Please don't, please don't break. It's gonna be real, it's gonna be, the, the game, with the way the game is, it's gonna break with Lee or Kenny crosses. Because Kenny is the person I said that I want to take care of Clementine. Okay. River Street's just up ahead. Okay, Kenny's good. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> no! Shit. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well? I'm so sorry. You're fine, man. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. You're good, man. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Jump! Fuck! We can't reach. Find something, fast! Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Don't grab onto this. Oh my god, they can Lee grab onto Thanks. it. <gasps> Shit. Everyone's like, oh. Don't tell me she's going to die. Shit, they're in there! Why do you make Lee grab onto it? Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Jump a little higher. Just a little higher. Me and my fucking mouth. Kenny, no! No, Kenny, no! What are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! Damn it, Kenny! I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Kenny, God damn it. You stupid asshole. Get Kenny! Jump up here, Ken, I'll grab you! No, please don't take any ties. Kenny, please don't die. No! Go! I'll, I'll be... Go. No! Where... Where'd he go? Maybe... Maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. Please. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... No. The one person in this entire game that I liked was gone. My favorite character, Kenny's gone. The Florida man. Oh my god, I hate Chris... I hate this Chris girl. I fucking hate her. Kenny's gotta be alright. He's gotta be. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Oh. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. 
I wish it would have been you. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Well... Just take care of her as long as you can. Then find her a family that's capable. We are capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. See, I was that's fine enough. with you. Fine. But you heard me. I was fine with you. She'll be fine, Lee. Before you got Kenny killed. And now I don't like you because you got Kenny killed. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Are we going to see down here and Kenny's going to be like dead or some shit? Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Please don't make me see Kenny down here. I don't want to see Kenny dead. I don't want to see him become one of those things. He deserves better than that. He's too crazy. He's a Florida man. He won't die that easily. He's a he's crazy as hell. Kenny would mess them zombies. The Just hell go up. nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Shit! Oh, fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. Yeah, you What are you gonna do? It. Fuck it, I'm going down. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out! There's not a ton of options. Well, no shit. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find a boat. We'll meet you north town. Find me when you get down. Let's meet by town. Let's by meet the outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Lee, please don't die. I know you're bit, but don't die. Please. Maybe the zombies won't reckon, like, won't bite him because they're, I guess he could be considered one of theirs. Here comes the badass music. <laughs> Please kill it all of them. He's Terminator today, boys. He's done with this. Lee ain't putting up with this shit no more. Kenny's gone. Lee's insane. I'll kill as many as I can. Holy shit. Kenny better be alive. Kenny better be tough as nails and make it out of here. Because a stupid Krista had to go falling down there because she wanted to go get the walkie-talkie and Kenny had to pay for it. Kenny shouldn't have done anything. I wanted Clem, Clem to go with Kenny. But now Clem won't be able to go with Kenny if Kenny's dead. It's going to suck. But hey, Lee is going full Terminator badass mode. 
he's done with everything. He's going to kick ass and take names in the zombie apocalypse. He doesn't care what it takes. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? I got us adjoining rooms. Ah. I'm gonna kill you. I have a gun. I have a knife and I'm crazy as shit. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Just hit him real hard in the face with a knife. Kill him before he can do anything to you. Put your things down. No. Let me out. Who's out there? <sighs> Quiet, please, sweetie. Who the hell even are you? Your things. There. Put the walkie. Don't put the knife. This is all I've got, okay? Don't pat me down. <laughs> you travel light. I don't believe you. I don't care. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. You're smarter than you look. Do you know who I am? No, I'm no. actually curious. I don't know anything about it. <coughs> you wouldn't. <coughs> People like you don't. Who the hell are you? Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me? Huh. A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon oh! in the full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Oh, you're that guy robbed. Ooh. I'm not some cannibal to you. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Coached Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Ah, uh, my wife, Clementine Ben. My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. reasonable thing to want. Exactly. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come to me. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. 
we all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. How'd you even track me down? I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. That's why she that's why I took Clementine. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. No, actually. I'm not like you killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. <laughs> yeah. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Who? You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. It was cold. We put Arvin. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How did you even find me in the damn apartment? How the hell? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. I'll kill you before you fucking hurt her. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. Yes, yeah, she but nine. Her birthday was six days ago. How the hell do you know this? I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. Well, it's not kill happening. You. Let us go. No, no, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. No, the hell you are. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. Who are you? What the hell? I'm glad to. He's talking to what the hell? I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's Tess, not like, busy, I tell but she's sweet. Him damn head. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> wouldn't hurt a fly, my ass. I'm gonna kick your ass with one damn hand. Lee's a killer. You should know this. that dude to death. God damn, dude. <clears throat> Take the gun. 
I'd shoot him. I'd shoot him just in case. There you go. He won't get up now. He would have come back. Exactly. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Do we have Clementine's hat still? Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. Yes, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Claire, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. To talk, okay? Yeah. Why? Uh, he has his wife's head in the okay bag. Now. That's weird. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Can I get the walkie-talkie back? I want the walkie-talkie back. A bowling bag. Uh. What Jesus. the hell? Don't look in there. No, I know. Can I zip it up? That's kind of weird. Please don't be zombies. Oh! <gasps> I wonder if you cover yourself enough zombie guts that they'll just That's think it's you. Savannah. Oh, there's the butcher knife. I didn't know I put everything down. What the hell? Ah. Oh no. Don't put any on her face, please. Okay, good. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Aw. Uh -huh. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Can I hug her? Stay right next to me. Very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Who voices Lee? He sounds pretty dope. He looks like a walker. He doesn't look like he's doing too great.
That's her mother. That must be her mom and dad. Oh. Please don't put all that. Please don't put everything on Clementine to do. Please. She doesn't deserve that. How the hell? Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. He doesn't. Lee. He looks bad. I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I. I saw my parents. Oh. Come here, sweetie. Oh. They're dead. They really are. Clementine, uh, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Well, you don't have to Pull strike. On One, two, three! <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Cleo. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Aww. <laughs> Kill the security guard, take his gun. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Please, please, don't die on me, man. Kenny, first Kenny, then, actually first Carly, then Kenny, and then <clears throat> Lee. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Come on, Lee. You might be almost, you might be infected, but it doesn't matter, dude. You got power through. I can't. You have to. I can't move. This is it for me here. No. Please, please try no, to get please, up. No. Come on, Lee. Come on, dude. I believe in you. <clears throat> I can't. You don't have much time. You've got to do something. Fast. Like what? Need to get out of here. Make sure I don't turn. Keep. Get, keep you going. have to keep away from me. But Lee. Do whatever you have to do to keep me away from you. You have to. Okay. Since there's a security guard in there, K 
Can you get handcuffed? Baseball bat? No. Just start <clears throat> by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. <laughs> She's an eight year old. She doesn't have Watch a chair. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Don't bash Lee's face in, please. I would like to keep my beautiful face. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken bats. Good job. He looks really bad right now. He's he's trapped. This would be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Handcuffs. Tell Clem to get the handcuffs. Uh, handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. The sad music starts playing. No. Please. Don't do this to me. You take away Kenny and then you take away take away Lee. <clears throat> Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Please. Make sure they're tight. I don't, I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. No. Don't make her deal with Lee. That, no. That's an absolute move. Be careful. You can get what you need from him. Can you get the, the gun keys. and kill him? And then the gun. Yeah. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous. You're faster than he is. What should I get first? The gun. Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. The gun, because then you can kill him and take the keys. Oh, shit! <laughs> kill it! You have to kill it! Grab it! Get it closer. Watch out. No. God damn my one handcuffed hand. Run, Clem. Beat it, Clem. Beat him. Please, Clem. Don't die. Hit him again. And again. Hit just keep hitting him until we don't get back up no more. Hit might want to do one more time just in case. Just one more time just to be safe. I did it. I got him. No. You can take care of yourself. I'm not gonna tell See? her to come here. No, not all the time. Here you can. Don't worry. No, Lee, please. Please, Lee. Hey. I might turn, honey, you're strong, you're not safe. I might turn, honey. If I do. Oh. You can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Claire. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
my parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine this would be. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Leave me, you have to shoot me. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Clem. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. No, honey. You can't. You can't risk it. It, it is. It is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes. You just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find a group. Find Omid. Find Omid and Krista. Find Omid and Krista. Outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. Come the time we'll remember this. They'll take good care. I don't want her to go find a random group of people. I want her to be with Omid and Krista because, well, Omid and Krista because I thought about it before, like I didn't want to, but now they have to. Stay away from cities. Keep that hair short. Always keep moving. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. Have to tell Clem I love her. And also. No, please. <laughs> what? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. Please. Oh. No, it's you. <laughs> Me too. I feel so bad for Clem. <laughs> oh. Pulled the trigger. Ha ha ha. I didn't want to have to make Clem do that. I didn't want to have to make her kill Lee, but Lee, I, I didn't want Lee to suffer. I didn't want Lee to become one of those things. Neither did Clementine. And that's the only way that Lee wouldn't have became one of those walkers. Is if Clementine shot him. And God, that... This is the most emotional game. Because on the final episode, you lose Kenny and and you lose Lee in one. Kenny was the most protective, was my favorite character. He protected his family like no tomorrow. And <clears throat> the thing is, well, you lose Lee, which Lee is the person that you've been playing as since day, since episode one. Since the very beginning you've been playing as Lee, you survived as him, you took care of Clementine as him, and he just died. He got bitten and died. So, desperation. Did you, you removed Lee's arm. You and 62% of players removed his arm, well, removed your arm, lost temper. You and 65% of players lost your temper with Kenny. Uh, gave gave up your weapons. You and 80% of players kept your weapons. So 20% of players gave up their weapons. That must be interesting. Kill Clementine's captor. You and 34% of players killed the stranger. Why wouldn't you have killed the stranger? Because you strangled him and then he would have came right back to life. He would have turned. So it would have been better just to, ki just to kill him. Goodbye. Stop Lee from coming back. You and 60% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Lee deserved that little bit. You voted to throw Ben out the group. You dropped Bell. You dropped Ben from the bell tower. You trusted her with your past. Carly, you trusted her with your past. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. You defended her against Lily's accusations. Uh, Christy, Krista, you met her on your worst day thus far. You revealed your bite to her. You told her and Ahmed to meet you at the train. Uh, Doug, you met him with. 
you were with him when you found your brother. He died from Walker's attack when the Walkers attacked the drugstore. Duck. You had helped save his life at Herschel's farm. He argued that you were not bit that he was not bitten. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. You let him by you let him be your sidekick solve a mystery. You let him be your sidekick solve a mystery. Uh -huh. You, Kenny, you defended his son in the drugstore. You talked you talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to, and he was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Krista. He was lost. He's dead? No, I thought... No. And then, Kat, you attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duckway needed. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. That's what he did? No. <coughs> then you got Larry. You called him a racist. You restrained Lily while Kenny crushed his head. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. Lily, you called her a bitch when you first met her. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You left her on the road. You left her on the side of the road. And then Omir, you helped him get into the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. No, please. I don't. I don't know if how. I don't know if I'm getting copyrighted for this music. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to one because I don't know if that's copyright music or not. And I'm trying not to get copyright. But Kenny's gone. So Kenny's gone. Cat's gone because Cat shot herself with having to face uh, Duck's death. Duck's gone. So Kenny... Kenny's whole family's gone, but hey, Kenny's in a better place now. Kenny gets to be with his family. Kenny is in a better place. He's happier. He's not in this hellhole. Clementine is going to have Krisa and Omar to look after her. And I hope, I really hope that she's okay. I really do. That would be a amazing game I've ever played. If you get, if you really like games, then this is by far the most emotional episode you'll ever play. This is the most emotional game. Oh, Clementine. Where is she? She's in a field by herself with a gun. What happened? Where's Christina? Where's Krista? And Omir? <coughs> Where are they? Uh, they should be with her. I feel so bad for her. Shotgun shells. What does she see? Oh, people. They don't look like walkers, they look like actual people. Oh, that's that. That's interesting. Right back to the beginning. Oh, I love this game so much. All I gotta say is thank you guys so much for playing this game, for coming with me on the journey and playing this game. Well, watch me play this game. <coughs> Thank you for watching me play this game. Thank you for coming along on the journey. This is by far one of my most favorite get well, well, by far my most favorite my most favorite game. Maybe well, one of the one of my most favorite games. It has such a good story to it. And I might go back through and play a little bit and change some decisions. I might see what happens in the beginning if you save your um save Sean, the kid from the beginning at Herschel's farm save him <coughs> but hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure you do drop a like and do subscribe if you aren't already also I'm trying to hit 4,000 watch hours if you guys could watch more of my videos like this go check out the other videos 
and usually watch to the end. <coughs> if you could watch the end, that, <coughs> that would be great. Sorry for all the coughing. I'm just coming down with COVID. I just got done dealing with COVID, and I don't feel that great. So, peace, y'all.